Good morning, welcome to my new weekly vlog. I just got my camera out in a bit of a rush and a bit of a fluster because I wanted to show you this lovely ooh, procession that's going on midway through my shoot on Pall Mall. Look at this. So we're in my favorite place to shoot vlog photos. I'm with the lovely Georgia <laughs> and we are shooting some new snaps for Instagram on Pall Mall which you all see, have seen a million times on my Instagram um, and I think that was some kind of practice procession they're currently heading down towards Buckingham Palace which is down the end there so yeah it's a lovely British start to the day <laughs> Searching all day long, try to be the perfect one. You're holding me without no touch, you don't need chase to hold me back. Light it up, I can't speak your mind. My words slipping on you, give me nothing back. But it's love, I can't tell you how. I'm caught up in your thoughts tonight. See, I've been building walls, you break them. I'm at the Connaught Hotel now, dressed head to toe in LK Bennett. I'm here for an LK Bennett and um, Jenny Packham afternoon tea. Very excited, so let's go and see what it's all about. You saw my outfit of the day earlier, but beautiful blouse, the skirt, which you might have spotted, my blogger mail unboxing, and then actually I can show you better here, these boots, which are like a beautiful blush, almost lilac leather. So this is the outfit for the team. Light it up, I can't speak your mind. My world's slipping on, they give me nothing back. What is up? I can't tell you how. I'm caught up in your thoughts and I See, I've been building walls. You break them down, break them down. Oh, every time I go, brings back your love. Back your Good morning, it's Tuesday, and today is a busy day of meetings out in town starting off at the Petersham Nurseries in Covent Garden for a breakfast launch with Walida and they are a clean beauty skincare brand. We're going to be listening to one of their experts about how to make our beauty routine a little bit more clean, get out all the chemicals. So I'm very excited to learn lots and eat some lovely food. Let me show you around this place because it's absolutely stunning. I've walked past it so many times but never been in but it really is beautiful. Have a look at this breakfast setup. Some of the products. This I am very excited to try, Nude Lip Balm. This is everyone's favorite. In the bottom of all my handbags, we'll later skin food. This as well, if you're looking for a more natural deodorant, love. Okay, let's go through. Back home again now with my birthday boy. It's little Dickie's first birthday today. How does it feel? One year old young man. So uh, I had a very productive morning, had three meetings this morning. I'm getting probably stared at here. Oh, I can just kiss him all day. Uh, yes, I had three meetings this morning after the Walida event and that was a really lovely breakfast. It was actually quite eye-opening. So obviously Walida, they are one of the leaders in uh, natural beauty. I've used a lot of their products before. <laughs> oh my God, Dexter has come to join in as well. So Walida, uh, the products that I have loved and used from them before include their dry skin food, which is the, it's like a, I use it mostly for a hand cream, but you can also use it. I've used it on holiday if I've had any slight burns, any skin irritations. It's just like a calming, moisturizing product, which everybody loves. I also use their pomegranate deodorant, so you don't have to put aluminium or loads of like chemicals on your underarm areas, and it still works amazingly. I love their birch body scrub. They've just got loads of really nice products which are a lot more natural. This morning we were learning about the harmful effects of putting so many chemicals on our skin and they had this like menu of the top selling 12 products that most women use every day. So like top selling shampoo, top selling moisturizer, things like that. And it listed all the chemicals in them and it was really 
quite gross. So I am gonna make a conscious effort to be a lot more natural in my skincare routine. I have been very aware of it for the past year or so, but this morning was really eye-opening. So I am gonna try a lot harder to be a lot more natural. So if you guys are interested in that, then I will obviously be sharing my journey into making natural swaps. And then I had a couple more meetings. I had a meeting with the girls from Kiehl's and then I met my Reward Style account manager. So Reward Style is the company where I do my affiliate links. When you see underneath here, you see a description box and links to products I've mentioned. I, as I'm sure you know, may get a small percentage from the sale and it's almost, it's called reward style, so I guess it's rewarding the YouTuber or vlogger that inspired your purchase. Obviously it doesn't affect you as a shopper, but it means that we get a little bonus from the retailer for inspiring your sale. And I work with them quite closely, it's really nice to track my sales, it means that I can see what you guys are buying and I can make sure that I'm talking about the right things, so what retailers you like the most, what retailers I talk about but maybe you don't buy so much of. So that was a very, very very interesting meeting. Um, I was meant to have two more meetings, but Charlie's not very well, so I've come back home. I've arrived back home to an amazing delivery from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'll show you that in a second. But I have got some pasta cooking right now. Charlie just needed some comfort food, so I'm making a mac and cheese after a lovely healthy breakfast this morning. Are you kissing me? Um, and I wanted to get back to my birthday boy, so Dickie and I are just gonna spend the afternoon nursing Charlie back to good health. And then I'm packing for a photo shoot tomorrow. We have a full day photo shoot, so I'll show you how I prepare for that. But for now, I'm gonna go and continue making my macaroni cheese, my favorite meal in the world. I have already told you in a few vlogs how I make it, but I still get lots of questions. I'll leave linked up on the screen my um, first ever what I eat in a day video, because that is where I do the full recipe. But we are in action, just gonna grate the cheese, and it's time to eat. <laughs> So this is the bouquet that I came home to from Charlotte Tilbury, a giant, do you call it a bouquet of balloons? Cluster of balloons? I have a feeling the Duchess Bond girl um, love trap, I have a feeling they are names of lipsticks, but it's just like a big Valentine's bouquet, we've got a crown, hot gossip, look at this, very Instagrammable. And then here is the selection of goodies. It says, darling, feel like a queen this Valentine's Day. Ooh, and then inside, what have we got? Let's have a little look. Ooh la la, I think we have some new lip products. I thought I'd just pop the camera up there while I unbox them. So here we go. This one is called Legendary Queen. That is a beautiful kind of burgundy color, very regal. This one is called The Queen, ooh la la, it's almost like got a little bit of fuchsia in there, but still a very classic red shade. And then this one is called The Duchess, that is beautiful, imagine this with a slightly deeper lip liner, that would be stunning. Have some adorable little Charlotte Tilbury stickers in the goodie bag, and then I think this is another lipstick, a cashmere cream texture with a soft matte finish. This one is called Opium Noir. Oh my goodness, look at that, that is so stunning. Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are just the most beautiful shades. And then we have a selection, I think these might be lip liners. I use Pillow Talk on a very regular basis. I have it in my handbag as my kind of top up one. This looks like it could be Pillow Talk. This one is called Super Size Me. Wow, that is the perfect brownie nude shade. This one is a burgundy color called Walk of Shame. Then we have got Bond Girl, which is a slightly darker pink. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've seen this one before, but the shade is perfect, a really brownie pink called Hot Gossip. And another brownie pink, this one is called Love Trap. I find that these kind of brownie pink shades are just super, super versatile and you can't really get much better than Charlotte Tilbury's lip cheats. So just reading the press release, it says that the At Your Lip Service collection, this is going to be 65 pounds for the full collection in the At Your Lip Service little box, or they are 24 pounds for the individual shades and they are out now. So I'll leave these linked down in the description box below if you haven't got your girlfriend anything yet for Valentine's. It'd be a lovely little gift. Uh, memory 
talk to me I kinda wanna understand what you mean When you say her and me We never ever should've played it this real Got me down under your thumb Just let me out, just let me have fun Morning, it is Wednesday and today if any of you guys recognise where we are, then it means you've been watching my channel for a year because it's been exactly one year since uh, Kat and I filmed our romantic lookbook here last year. And we were at Hedsall House in the beautiful bridal suite. And we're filming Romantic Lookbook Part 2 because to this day it's my favourite video on my channel. I loved filming it. I just was so, so happy with that video. So we've come back again to the most amazing room in the world. Let me give you another tour in case you didn't spot it last time. Look how stunning this room is. So if you get married here, then this is the room where you'd like get ready. And then through here, come around the most spectacular bathroom with this double shower area. Oh my gosh, this place is so stunning. My outfit of the day before starting filming is this little LK Bennett. Um, jumper, just super easy breezy, and then my Karen Millen leggings, which are the leather at the front, fabric at the back, and then my socks are sweaty Betty. And then if you go through the bathroom, you have the most stunning bedroom. Do you guys remember the photos that I took here last year? Oh my gosh. So this is the bridal bedroom. How beautiful. Imagine getting ready with your bridesmaids here. Oh, I just love it so much. I want to live here. Oh, so good. She gives me that smile. It's like I never felt so alive. I'll give up the day that I die. Any sooner is a waste of my life. I'll give up the day that I die. Any sooner is a waste of my love. My love. Wasting my love. complete, successful, very successful morning. We were shooting for about three or four hours and we're heading off now. We, I should have bought some more stuff with me to shoot even more, but we're done. So I thought I would just show you the outside of the house. Good morning, it is Thursday. I'm about to head out into town for a day of meetings and I thought I would show you my outfit of the day before I head out in case I don't get the opportunity to show you later because it's quite a um, it's quite a Josie outfit today. So I have, you'll be pleased to hear, switched up my suede skirt. I still absolutely love my Reese one but I think you guys are getting a little bit bored of seeing me wearing that all the time. So I have a new one. It's very very similar. It is from Karen Millen. What I love about this one I think you can probably tell is that it is so high-waisted. When I first saw it on the hanger I thought it might just be quite long and potentially a bit unflattering but I thought you know what I have to try this and it is so beautiful. I love how high-waisted it is. I feel like it's ultra flattering. This band that goes around the waist is just dreamy. It makes you look so nipped in at the waist, very feminine and it's just a really nice length. Like this is my kneecap here covered by my Karen Millen boots. You guys have seen these a million times, I love them so much and yeah just this little bit of thigh is on show so not too revealing but still just really cute and feminine. And then I've actually worn this top so much lately, this is a top I got in the Ted Baker sale. It does also have this kind of fluted detail at the bottom so I've tucked that in um, but because the suede is quite structured you can't see it poking out which is great and then as I said I've got my Karen Millen boots on just flip you around to show you my face because I did try a new lip combination this morning and I'm a big fan so I went to a Laura Mercier lip launch a couple of weeks ago I think you will have seen that and then I actually emailed the PR and said I would really love to try some of your lip liners because the shades of the lip velvets I think they're called which is so dreamy and they very kindly sent some over so I'm wearing the Laura Mercier lip pencil natural lips I think the shade that I have is natural lips doesn't seem to have any other name on it it says 7160U1 
pretty sure that it's going to be called Natural Lips. And then I wanted something a little bit moisturising, a little bit balmy, but with a lot of colour. So for my lip colour, I've got the Burberry Kisses Nude 505. And it just gives like a little bit of a sheen. And if your lips are dry, or if you know you're going to be going outside and you don't want a full-on matte lip, but you want a really nice intense colour, I've just really discovered my love for this. And together, they are the dream combination. So that's my current lip favourite. And then today I also spritzed on... A new fragrance. This is the new Chloe fragrance. You may have seen me opening this up if you watched my blogger mail unboxing video that was live last Wednesday. This is the Chloe Nomad fragrance and it's I think it's the second ever perfume from Chloe. I may be wrong, but I absolutely love it. I love the first one. This one's a little bit more fresh, a little bit kind of fruity. It's got a definite sweet fruitiness to it, but I love it. Very me. What else did I try today? I had a bit of a morning of trying some new things. I tried actually a new Laura Mercier foundation. This is the Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. I'm having a very weird skin period at the moment. Ever since I had reflexology, which was on Monday evening, um, my skin's just kind of been breaking out a bit more. Nothing seems to stick on my, on my chin in particular. My makeup just vanishes. I've got those under skin pimples on my forehead. So yeah, generally not a very good skin time, but actually I am impressed with the coverage that this Laura Mercier has given me. And I did my usual bronzer by Terry Blusher. Oh, I actually tried a new eyeshadow palette this morning as well. This is the White Peach Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. As you can imagine, the eyeshadows are very delicately scented with the peach fragrance. It looks like this. And I used Sweet Fig, which is the brown shade on the far furthest away from me in the middle. And then also Peach Sorbet, which is the peachy shade closest to me in the middle. And um, yeah, I think it's a really nice, warm, soft combination. So I'm gonna pop my coat on and grab my handbag and then show you my final outfit of the day. Okay, so coat is on. This is my caramel and coat from last year, but they do have a really similar one in the sale this year, so I'll leave that one linked down below. Double-breasted, um, I think you guys have seen this once again a million times. It does have this tie waist, which I like to do up for a little bit more of a shape, but yeah, love this coat a lot. It was a really, really good investment piece. Lots of neutrals today, but I think by mixing neutrals it doesn't ever look too boring. And yeah, these are kind of things that are all, they're all investment pieces, they're all kind of premium high street pieces, but I get so much wear out of everything that I'm wearing now. So no regrets when spending a little bit more on these kind of classic pieces. And then my handbag is my new Mulberry bag. Oh my goodness, I'm so, so happy with this bag. It's just the most me bag ever. It's so practical, fits my laptop inside. It's the most beautiful, just a slight tint of like a rosy blush shade, but it is a very versatile brown. And it just goes with everything. So yeah, this is my new everyday handbag. My outfit of the day, having a super bad hair day. I'm heading off for a meeting at the Wolseley Hotel now, and then I have a Darfan facial, which I'm so looking forward to. I always say to anyone that's looking to like gift someone a facial, that Darfan facials are the best. They are so relaxing, and I'm going to the Spa Illuminata for that. So, time to head off, I'll see you later. I just last minute decided to add my Burberry scarf because I've had this for two years and I very rarely wear it. I think I'm just always kind of saving it for best, but I decided to pop this on. So this is my finished, ready to go outfit of the day. I see how the tables turn, I swear I will never learn that this life oh, it kills fire oh. is where I'm going to be relaxing for the next hour or so. She's going to just take a look at my skin. They don't have like a menu. They just look at your skin and then tell you which Darfan products they're going to use and it's an hour of bliss. So I'll see you after my facial. Just come out of my facial. It was absolutely heavenly as I was saying. I don't know if you could hear um, but you don't have to necessarily choose which facial you want. You can just kind of go to them lie on the bed which is heated so it's very very nice um, and then she'll just have a look at your skin and tell you what she thinks you need so she looked at my skin and asked if I had any concerns and I said that since I'd had reflexology I was getting a little bit of breakout on my chin and also I was slightly concerned about some lines around my eyes so she used lots of hydrating products lots of like rose oils a lovely mask and I had a massage while that was sinking in so that was a very very lovely way to start the day um, she said I need to look into the Darfan eye resource range if I'm concerned about lines around my eyes 
I think that's one for like early signs of aging if you're just wanting to like put a halt to any wrinkles that might be making their way onto your face. Nicely glowing now, I've put a little bit of makeup on because I am heading to a very nice restaurant for lunch so I didn't want to turn up with just some oil on my face. It's absolutely freezing today, I think it's about minus one at the moment so I'm clutching my scarf for dear life. Um, I'm just going to find somewhere to catch up on some emails before my next meeting. It's a few hours late now, had a lovely lunch. Um, yeah, we are matching, we always come out matching accidentally. Had a lovely lunch with the girls from De Beers and at a place called Isabel's, which was very posh, and oh, yeah. I definitely was Men not dressed up enough, but that was really nice. Um, and then Charlie and I just had a couple more meetings, and we are now heading out for Fish and, and Chips. Chips. Yes, Charlie has managed to find apparently like a gourmet posh chippy called United Chip. So that's where we're going for dinner. Yay! Never thought I would find myself saying these words, but this chippy is seriously Instagrammable. They have got pink tables, nice lighting. It's basically a food lover's dream in here. I've gone for batter sausage and chips and halloumi. Look at this. Yay! Ready to look me. Charlie has got good old cotton chips and he's such a piggy. He's also got, what kind of burger is it? Soft shell crab. Soft shell crab burger. I have been craving this for so long. Time to dig in. Crab burger. <laughs> How is that? Good. Yeah. You're calling. I'm falling. Don't know what it is you do to me. Yeah. Where you go? I follow. Let's go out and dance the night away. Going like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance the night away. I am ready for the heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. Maybe I am going crazy. Say you feel the same now that we dancing. I'm taking my chances. I'm going like one. Morning, my darlings. It is Friday. Um, apologies for the wet hair, just got out of the shower. So as you saw, we had, oh, there we go. As you saw, we just had a personal training session with Adam at Virgin and I feel totally blitzed. We had fish and chips last night and he saw it on our Instagram story so he made us work extra hard this morning. Adam is literally amazing. I feel like I owe a lot to him and he's such a good pal. He's gonna come over with his girlfriend Becky on Sunday for lunch as well. So yeah, that was my start to the day. I'm in my blogger mail unboxing seat <laughs> um, and I'm gonna open a little bit more blogger mail with you because I have another four or five days worth since my blogger mail unboxing video, which hopefully you guys saw last Wednesday. That was the most amazing blogger mail unboxing I think I've ever done. There were so many fabulous products. I was absolutely spoiled rotten feel very generous and I'm always so grateful to the brand. I couldn't do as many beauty reviews or create as much content as I do without the products from the brands, so very, very grateful and it means I have lots more to talk about with you guys as well. Not as crazy amount today, but some really lovely packages that I wanted to share with you. I also opened up a, there was a really lovely bunch of roses from Issey Miyake to launch their Le Ode Issey Pure Nectar Perfume. I actually already had a few spritzes of this. It's a really kind of light spring-like fragrance. It's got rose, honey and pear in there. This is the bottle. It's all inspired by like dew drops, drops of water, drops of nectar. So I think that's going to be a really, really lovely one for spring. Might do another cheeky spritz. So that I already opened up because it was with the beautiful flowers. I've left my makeup quite minimal because I thought if there's any makeup here then I could just do a very quick first impressions. So I'm going to open up this box to start with. It's just a plain white box. Ooh, 
Oh, this is so cute. This is from Daniel Galvin. Daniel Galvin is a place where I've had my hair coloured in the past. Really amazing salon. I think they have two or maybe even three. They've got one in Selfridges, one in Marlebone, which is where I go. Love is in the air this- oh, love is in the hair this Valentine's Day. Do let us know if you'd like to book in for a cut, colour or treatment. Very, very generous. They've popped in some Daniel Galvin own brand products. This is their no parabens, SLS, petrochemicals or mineral oil, double shine conditioner, illuminating shampoo, um, clear gloss, intensive conditioning mask, that'll come in very handy. My hair needs a mask. People always ask how I keep my hair in good condition when it's so coloured. Masks are my best friend. As is um, conditioning spray. This is a detangling mist. Love your highlights. This is amazing and oh my gosh. They've put in a Ferrero Rocher tree. This is bloody awesome. Thank you very much to the team at Daniel Galvin for that. Ah, oh, we have more amazing Clarins Mother's Day products in here. This is some of their key products which have been repackaged. These are their hand and nail creams, repackaged with this beautiful design for Mother's Day. Got the, this is the Jasmine, and I think these are the body lotions as well. Moisture Rich Body Lotion Magnolia. Let me know in the comments below if your mum is also obsessed with Clarins because I would say it's my mum's favourite brand. The double serum she absolutely loves. The blue orchid facial treatment oil is Charlie's mum's favourite. I feel like it's such a mum brand and it's a brand that I love as well, like mother like daughter. And yeah, this is the collection. There's also the Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. This is probably one of my favorite Clarins products. Next up is a lovely carrier bag from Dior. I feel totally spoiled by Dior lately. They sent me some pieces recently. I've been using their, you know I opened up in the unboxing video, I opened up lots of their serums. On my dressing table, I've saved the Plump Filler, Glow Booster, and Matte Maximizer. And I'm just kind of picking and choosing depending on how my skin feels each day. Today my skin feels really good because I had the Darfan facial yesterday. Um, so I put on the Plump Filler and hopefully it'll just stop my skin from premature aging. That's the plan. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Dear Josie, Dior introduces the Miss Dior Roller Pearl, as beautiful as a jewel, the bottle rolls out for a generation that both expects only the best and is always on the go. Perfect for travel, travel, small but generous. It stands out for its capacity and also its wide crystalline glass bead that provides a cool and sensorial application available from March. This is such a beautiful box. Dior packaging. I wonder if you can get this in stores for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day. <gasps> so so pretty I don't want to open it I wish I'd like taken some Instagram stories first I'm gonna try and open it so that I can close it in the same way later look how beautiful that is it's just got the word Dior cut out of the cardboard so that it reveals the pink underneath oh they've got a calligrapher to write this I think dear Josie happy Valentine's Day love from Dior and then a beautiful selection of their fragrances. We've got Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, the Nourishing Hand Cream, the Roller Pearl, and the absolutely blooming Roller Pearl. So this is the Blooming Banquet. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this bottle is. And then if I open the lid, you can see, it's got a beautiful little CD on the lid. You can see it's got this lovely roller ball. So you can pop that on the pulse points. I'm gonna be a lovely cocktail of fragrances after today. Oh. Oh my goodness, that fragrance is heavenly! So gorgeous, that is going straight in my handbag. What a generous, generous gift. Thank you very much to Dior for spoiling me. I think this is a fashion delivery next from a brand called Me and M. They have the most divine cashmere pieces. Let's see what we have in here. We hope you like our layering shirt styles. Perfect for wearing under fine knits with super soft skinny fit jersey. Ooh la la. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel this. this is so soft. Definitely a lovely layering piece underneath a jumper, like a cable knit jumper, like what I'm wearing now. You could just have this lovely ruffle detail sticking out the top and then the ruffle detail on the sleeves. That is such a classic piece. And they've also popped in the sleeveless version as well. So if you wanted to wear something with slightly shorter sleeves or you just wanted the neck detail, this is absolutely perfect. Okay, next we have a rather big box from Swarovski. 
Let's see what delights are in here. Never in a million billion years when I started vlogging did I think that brands would be so generous and send me anything. I hear a lot of I hear a lot of people saying that they get bloggers that have literally started their blog two days ago emailing brands asking for gifts and it's not something that just comes with the territory. You have to really build up your platform and you have to really work hard to receive lovely things like this. When I started gifting well, I didn't even know I was blogging. I was just having a bit of a ramble on the internet to myself. And when a brand reached out sending, saying they wanted to send something, it was something I never in a million years expected. So to receive all these lovely things is something that I will never take for granted. But equally, I would say, and I do get a lot of people messaging me saying, how do they start a blog? How can they work with brands? It is not something that you can just start up and expect to receive lots of free things. It really is something that is an amazing perk if you have worked at it for many, many years. 90% of bloggers in my position, they worked for free, they worked without samples for years and years before anything was sent to them. So we're all so grateful for these lovely gifts that brands send. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is to Josie and Charlie. But I'm gonna open it without Charlie because he's downstairs. Oh, it's an engagement gift, that is so cute. Look at this card, that is absolutely adorable. Dear Josie and Charlie, congratulations on your engagement. Love from the Swarovski team. And then we have this rather large box, beautifully presented. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my. Wow. <gasps> Look. Oh my goodness, I'm actually speechless. These are so stunning. Two champagne glasses. Oh my gosh, I never want to use these. What if they break? Oh, they're so special. Oh my gosh, they have Swarovski crystals in the stems and then they're like a Swarovski crystal, Swarovski crystal base. Wow. This is the kind of thing I'm just gonna cherish forever. That is so stunning. Thank you so, so, so much to the Swarovski team. I can't wait to show Charlie these. He's gonna be so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm a lucky, lucky lady. I'm gonna put them safely in their beautiful presentation box. And I've just heard that my mum's here, so I'm gonna go and say hello to her and I'll catch up with you guys in 10 minutes or so. Okay, back again. Sorry if you can hear the dogs going crazy in the background. I have another gift here from Swarovski. This has got pink ribbon. Ooh, very pretty. Gosh, Charlie absolutely loves, oh my God. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Oh, they've sent me this gorgeous little bracelet. Can you see that in detail? Let's focus it. Is that focused on the bracelet? It's this beautiful Swarovski crystals around the chain. And then you've got this toggle clasp. I feel like if you're not sure what to get your girlfriend for Valentine's Day, you've still got time to head down to a Swarovski store. You definitely just could not go wrong with this. Oh, I like that it's adjustable as well. So even if you don't know her specific size, you can just get this because it's adjustable. How cute does that look? Thank you so much to Swarovski for utterly, utterly spoiling me. Gosh, I feel so lucky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was about to say this just cannot get any better, but this is a delivery from La Mer. Dear Josie, please find enclosed a La Mer favourite, the eye concentrate for you to try. And I've also popped in some other products. So we have got, oh, we actually don't have the eye concentrate. <laughs> That's really funny. We have the mist and the face and body gradual tan. This I've wanted to try for so long and I'm a huge fan of face mist. So I thought I would give the La Mer one a try. Really excited to give both these a go. I'll keep you guys updated. No idea where that eye concentrate is. Maybe they forgot to pop that one in. Let's see what we have next. This next one is some goodies from Kiehl's, I believe. Oh, yes. Aha, oh, Lancome. Ah, Lancome and Kiehl's. Okay, so we have um, the Lancome Genifique Hydrogel Melting Mask. I love sheet masks so much and I've heard really good things about this Lancome one. Glow, plump, smooth, and texturize the skin. Rich in bifidus extract. Interesting, I will be trying that one out tonight. In fact, I have a bit of a pamper night on this vlog, so stay tuned. 
sunflower color preserving conditioner and the matching shampoo from Kiehl's. I blooming love Kiehl's shampoo and conditioner. My hair absolutely loves them. I feel like if you wash your hair quite regularly, they're not harsh at all, so really good for that. And I've not tried their color preserving one before, so um, I'm excited to give this a try. And this is the Strengthening and Hydrating Oil in Cream, a daily leave-in. And when my hair is kind of like this, I already put an oil in, but when it's damp and I'm about to blow dry it, I love to put in something as like a leave-in product. Just helps me brush it, helps me to keep it smooth. So I'll give that a go next time I wash my hair. Ooh, a little package from Tom Ford. We hope you enjoy using the enclosed Tom Ford beauty products. What do we have here? Look at this packaging. The little TF logo on there. That is so stunning. I think I got a press release for this. And it's their new palette. And Tom Ford palettes are just spectacular. This is the palette Soleil Iron Cheek palette. Always come in these gorgeous little dust cloths as well, which is so sweet beautiful packaging this gorgeous white case and inside <gasps> mm, look at all these beautiful shades so you've got a couple of different blush colors like a deeper pink and then this could be used as a highlight all powder formula uh, we've got a really deep plum shade and then beautiful very wearable browns and a light pink in this little eyeshadow quad and then you've got the mirror in the lid i like that they don't put brushes in their palettes because who actually uses the brushes in makeup palettes. I feel like everyone uses their own br brushes, so not necessary, but I will give that a go later on when I do my makeup properly. <gasps> oh my god. Every package I'm just blown away by. This is from Flower Bomb, Flower Bomb Bloom Eau de Toilette. Oh my goodness, they've just released a new one called Flower Bomb Nectar, and I sniffed it in Vogue in one of the little kind of pull-out adverts and I'm so excited to try that. This is the Flower Bomb scented candle which I adore more than any other candle ever, it smells incredible. Um, perfumed body lotion, if you are a fan of Flower Bomb or maybe if your girlfriend is a fan of Flower Bomb then you could always get her like the perfumed body lotion or body wash or I think this is a little soap or the candle for Valentine's Day if you don't want to buy the fragrance she's already got it. I would say the best thing to get her would be the candle if, or maybe your mum or anyone that you know that loves Flower Bomb, get them the candle because they will love you forever. This is a little soap which is adorable. And then we have Flower Bomb Rose Twist. This is like a little um, mixer so if you want to add a little bit more floral notes, more rosy floral notes to your fragrance to make it a little bit different, you can just add in a little bit of this. And then we have the classic Eau de Parfum Flower Bomb which I love. I have worn it for so many years and it's just such a favourite, so fully stocked up. Thank you very much, Flower Bomb. I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. Something in a frame. Oh no, I think the frame's broken. Oh. So we have a slightly battered frame, um, but we've got anti-aging smooth fill lipstick. Ooh collagen lipstick from it cosmetics that sounds amazing and the beautiful bold classic red and then the matching lip liner your lips but better i would always recommend a lip liner if you're going to apply a red and then it says hey it girl happy valentine's day this one it's all about you love yourself apply your lipstick and show the world the most confident you with love it cosmetics and they put in this frame i'm gonna have to get it reframed because annoyingly little shards of it are falling out but we have got if i try and put it together to show you dear me i thought a letter would be the best way to remind you that girl you slay i love you i don't tell you enough sometimes i'm too busy with other stuff i may not say it each day but want you to know that come what may you're so special to me i must take time to sit back and see it may not always be easy but you're nailing life cool and breezy when life seems a little too heavy, apply your bravery and you'll be ready. You're more daring than you know, your confidence will run the show. And as always, you'll be a hit. You're beautiful. You are it. Love me. That is so, so gorgeous. Just a lovely, powerful, positive affirmation to look at each morning. I'm going to get this reframed and put that up by my dressing table. Because what a lovely thing to just remind yourself of when you're putting your makeup on each morning. And that's what your cosmetics is all about. So thank you so much to the team for sending this over. Ooh. I think this one is another Lancome sheet mask. 
it is another Genifique face mask from Lancome. So I'm going to take these both with me tonight and then Charlie and I will do those this evening. We're heading up to Lincoln um, tonight to see my family. It's a bit of a road trip. My, we're going to see my granddad and my auntie and uncle. So we're heading off there shortly. And then I've got the press release so I can find out all the info. Thank you very much to Lancome. Last but not least, this one is from L'Occitane. L'Occitane opened a flagship store last night on um, Regent Street. I was meant to go, but I had such a migraine that we called it quits early on in the evening, which is such a shame because I saw on Instagram stories how fabulous it looked. So if you're in Regent Street area, definitely check out their new flagship. <gasps> oh, cute. Okay, so this is actually a Borean. Um, they are kind of run by the same company as L'Occitane. Look how cute this is, a little Valentine's Day gift. Oh my gosh, it's a coffee mug. This is so perfect. I'm about to go on a road trip and gonna need some coffee, so that is perfect timing. But first, coffee. Got a little Arborian um, kind of coffee warmer. Oh my gosh, so I've got a little box of treats that were hidden underneath the coffee. Use a sorbet, sheer and strong protection. Is that an SPF? To envelope the skin, making it feel protected against environmental stresses. That's amazing, especially if you live in London town. Some new eyelash colours. This is amazing. And these look like very snazzy ones because mine are reaching the end of their life. So this is perfect timing. I think this is like a little speaker. Yeah, it looks like it. You can plug it into your phone, play the tunes. Amazing. Then we have BB Drops makeup add-on for a baby skin effect. That sounds intriguing. Put a couple of drops into your hand, mix together. Oh, mix with your day cream. That's such a good idea. So if you've got like a favorite day cream, but you want to make it a little bit more, have a little bit more coverage, just add these to your day cream. Oh my gosh, definitely taking these with me. Gonna try those tomorrow morning. And then we have another sheet mask. Ooh. BB Shot Mask, My Perfect Skin Look. I think because Aborian is Korean skincare, you really know that the skincare benefits are going to be in every product in the range. So everything I've tried from them so far, I absolutely love. So very much looking forward to trying some new pieces. Thank you very much to Aborian. And this has come at the absolute perfect time as well. I'm gonna make myself a coffee for the road. And that is it for my blog and mail this morning. I'm gonna go and blow dry my hair, pack my bag, and then it's time to hit the road. So we have swapped back to the bigger Mazda, the CX-5, for our road trip. This is mine and Charlie's favourite car. Looks like a shark from the front. Um, it's pretty similar to the CX-3 with technology, except it's got like these very cool little lights that flash up here if you're going in the wrong lane. And then loads of amazing tech inside. Very, very snazzy car. Um, oh, it's got a very funky little button on the boot, so if you've got your hands full, you can just hit this button, then the boot closes automatically. Loads of room. This is why we thought it would be great for today. So you can fit dog beds, all of our bags and things in the boot. And then shuts automatically. Dun, dun, dun. Very nice. And then in here, this is where I'm going to be traveling with the hounds because mum's going to sit in the front. Here's my little space. Lots of room for Lola and Charlie. And then the puppies are going to be sitting here, with their seatbelts on, of course. Good morning, it's Saturday and we are now up in Lincolnshire <laughs> with the family. I'm with my beautiful cousins, Ollie Mae and Eloise. Both of these girlies have their own YouTube channels. What videos have you put up so far? Um, fashion and... Um Morning routine. Morning routine. Oh, that's what I'm about to do. Um, <gasps> Sneak peek, that's what you're about to do. I really liked your Friday night um, pamper routine with all the Ted Baker products. I need to get one of those Ted Baker body lotions. And what have you done on your channel, um, Louise? I've done one video, but I'm going to be posting more. And I've um, done a night routine. Mm -hmm. And After um, school routine, wasn't it? Yeah. And it's not real, it's just a skit. No, don't tell them. It's real, it's a real routine. <laughs> I'll leave these girlies' channels linked underneath. So if you want to see their school routines and their pamper routines, have a little watch. See you later. We have got strawberry mousse. Yeah. And what else is on the plate, Ali Mae? Uh, 
The only other thing, Elaine, is business wise, it would suit the chocolate cup. Donating money's charity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this looks amazing. I've got the same. <laughs> Eloise, what have you got? I've got a um, hot chocolate with marshmallows. Where did your marshmallows go? <laughs> have you polished them off already? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and you got mummy's jelly. Mm -hmm. Hello again, it's Sunday now. Um, I didn't film too much while I was up in Lincoln because it was just really nice kind of quality family time. I didn't want to be bringing out my camera every opportunity, but we drove up to Lincoln on Friday and spent all of yesterday there, then drove back yesterday evening. So it's really lovely to spend time with, I saw two of my uncles, my auntie as well, um, my grandpa, my cousins, my second cousins. So yeah, it was really lovely to spend time with lots of family members this weekend. Sunday morning now and I've had a really like perfect Sunday morning so far. Charlie bought me a coffee into bed and then we spent a couple of hours doing like house chores. I don't know if that would be normal people's Sunday mornings but um, yeah we just did a real like deep clean of the house. We washed the dogs, they had a lovely bath um, and I've just had a really long like hour long bath with some relaxing bath salts and did my hair just had a full body exfoliation so yes very lovely pampering and morning um i think i'm going to film a video as soon as i've got my hair dry and done because it's sunday at the moment and i do not have a sunday video yet which I don't normally like to leave it this last minute, but these things happen, it's been a busy week. But I did want to try out, and I mentioned it earlier in the um, unboxing, I want to try out the Arborian BB Drops. I'm so intrigued by these. I think that if you're having like a working from home day or a Sunday and you've got fairly good skin, my skin is still really good for my facial earlier on this week, then sometimes you don't want anything any thicker than a BB cream. So this, as I mentioned before, you add the drops into your moisturizer. So. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I've got my usual Liz Earl moisturizer and this is what the Aborian BB drops look like. I think you can also use these on their own because at the back it says apply to the face as a makeup base or to enhance the complexion. And then on the side of the box it says you can mix it in with a day cream. So I'm gonna try it mixed in with a day cream. I feel like after an hour long bath, my skin just needs lots of moisture. So I've popped a little bit of my moisturizer on my hand. And then this has got a very snazzy little kind of container there, let's see. So I've mixed that all into my moisturiser and I'm going to apply. I guess I'm just going to apply it as though I'm putting on a moisturiser. So as you can see that's just given a little bit more coverage, just kind of evened out my skin tone. And to be honest, this is, this is the kind of coverage that I'd be happy with on a day like today, on a Sunday, days when I'm working from home as like an after gym um, when you just want a little bit more coverage if you want to neutralise any redness so very impressed. I feel like this is the kind of thing that you don't realise that you need until you try it but I can imagine getting a lot of use out of that so that is going in my makeup drawer which is overflowing. I think I might film like a beauty product clear out video because I've actually been not clearing out things on purpose because I want to share the process with you so give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see like a beauty product spring clean. Maybe I'll do that as a bonus video on Friday um, and then I'm trying to think what I could film this afternoon. Would you like to see a what's in my handbag? Let me know if you guys would like to see a what's in my handbag for my amazing lovely Mulberry Bayswater. It's got a lot of stuff in there at the moment. I've been using it as my everyday handbag all day this week so let me know if that's what you'd like to see or um, as we're coming into spring, yay, sun is coming through the window, as we're coming into spring let me know what kind of spring fashion videos you guys would like to see as well because I'm going to get very excited when the shops start to fill with spring things so there's going to be lots of that kind of content coming your way. Um, so yeah I'm going to carry on getting ready now and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later just to end the vlog off, let you know what else you've been doing this Sunday. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it is Sunday evening now. I haven't vlogged at all today because I've actually been clearing out my beauty collection 
all day and I filmed that, I vlogged that and I've edited it, it's currently exporting and it's going to be a very late Sunday evening upload. I did want to film some fashion videos today um, but the beauty clear out just took so long so there's a very very thorough clear out my beauty cupboard um, video up hopefully if all goes to plan. I think if it's looking like it'll go up any later than 9 p.m. It's currently half seven, it's still exporting, then maybe I won't upload it. But that's what I've been doing all day today. Um, just unboxed a little bit of blogger mail. I'm gonna go through that on my Instagram stories now, so that will still be there when this video goes up, so you can check that out, including this amazing, huge delivery from Bare Minerals. I'm gonna be, yeah, unboxing and talking through all of that on my Instagram shortly. And now I'm just packaging up a couple of my giveaway bundles. These are gonna be going in the post uh, tomorrow. So keep a lookout in your emails if you've been entering my beauty giveaways. If you don't know what they are, then just check out my latest beauty videos because pretty much every beauty video that I do includes a giveaway. So I wanted to share some of the amazing new launches that I get to try. Obviously, I cannot use all of the amazing products, even this this Bare Minerals, it's so amazing, but there's two, four, six, eight, ten blushes in there, and then there's lip glosses underneath. I can't use it all, so it's my pleasure to share that with you. So these are the giveaway boxes from last week. I'm going to package them up now and then um, finish editing this vlog. So quite a busy Sunday. I'm going to wrap this vlog up because I think it's about 45 minutes long, um, but if you did get to the end of this video, then please leave the word fluffy jumper in the comments so I can see who got to the end. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.